here we are, downtown Juneau. We're going to take a walk on the wharf. Our city manager said, no, there's no problem. There's no dog shit downtown. So we're going to count how many piles we have between here and everywhere else. So according to the city manager, property owners are responsible for keeping sidewalks clear. Well, this is the CBJ's property. Does that look clear to you? Frankly, it is dangerous. Take a look at all this ice. Yeah, it's not safe here. Yep, first piece. Look. And there's City Hall. Yes, where is that property owner when they're supposed to be maintaining their sidewalk? Unbelievable. Pile number two. Pile number three. It's about six feet from pile number two. Oh, pile number four. Guess what? I'm about five feet from pile number three. Pile number five. And again, we're about five feet from pile number four. You know, I haven't even gotten to the wharf. And I've already had five piles. And number six is in sight. And guess what? City Hall is right there. Pile number six. Well, I finally made it to the wharf, and we've already had six piles, and all I've done was walk from, I started on this side of the Sea Alaska building, and walked here on treacherous, city-owned, unmanaged sidewalks, covered in ice. Pile number seven. More city-maintained, iceless sidewalks. You may expect the private sector to maintain theirs when the CBJ doesn't manage theirs at all. Pile number eight. Poor unfortunate fool stepped in that one. Pile number nine. pile number 10 has been scattered by foot traffic. Pile number 11. Pile number 12. Pile number 13. Where's that pile number 14? There it is. Pile number 15. This one glitters with gold. This is just how far I've walked since I see Alaska. Still inside of City Hall. And I just made it to the parking garage. Pile 16. Pile 17. File 18. Take a couple steps. File 19. I don't know if this is pile 20, 21, or if the dog is too free, but maybe the dog just had issues. We're going to call this pile 21. And I've just walked past the library. Again, some poor fool stepped in that one. Pile 23. Pile 24. It's actually three steps from pile 23. Pile 25. Take a couple steps. Run. Pile 26. Pile 27. It's an old one. Pile 28. Yep, 
Some poor fool stepped in this one too. I just hope these weren't legislators stepping in it. Pile 29. Pile 30. And 31. 32. 33. 34. Yep, 35. And see? I've barely gone past the parking garage. Pile 35. Pile 36. Pile 37. Pile 38. And over here is pile 39. Here we have pile 40, 41. So far I've walked from City Hall to Diamonds International. And I've had 41 piles of dog poo already and unmaintained icy sidewalks by the city. All in contradiction to city manager Rod Swope Seahan. Pile 42, pile 43, pile 44. Now according to the city manager, property owners are responsible for the appearance of the sidewalk. I would say this one is not doing their job. When you look at it, this landowner seems to be doing a nice job. Sidewalk is cleared, everything's taken care of. However, across the street, does that look like that sidewalk is cleared? Passable? Again, our legislators are here visiting our community. This is disgusting. I think this is pile 45. Pile 46. Yeah, again, somebody stepped in it. 47. 48. Another victim. 49, 50, well I've just made a small loop and I'm back at the parking garage and we're at number 50. 51, 52, I'm now entering the Franklin Street Corridor. We're at 52, 53, 54, 55. Yeah, this is 55. This is doggy pile 56. Pile 37. Pile 38. Excuse me, pile 58. Pile 59. Pile 60. Pile 61. All right. I'll give kudos to the downtown from the parking garage to here. Sidewalks are pretty clear, in fact, ideally clear. And very few poo in the sidewalk. Off the side, quite a bit, but nothing like the other places. So you do it, downtown business guys, kudos to you. Pile 62. Now, this stretch of downtown, the sidewalks were clear and poo free. Good job, landowners. 